Hey everybody, it's Jordan with PDQ.com, and today we're back to talk about print spooler issues. Uh, there's some good news and some bad news, and on the bright side, this is not technically a print nightmare issue. On the uh, negative side, it does mean we do have to disable our print spooler service again. So if all of the miscommunication, all the information going back and forth led you to just keep it disabled and wait for a more fuller picture to come through, congratulations on winning print nightmare. If, however, you did implement all the fixes, make sure everything's good to go. Unfortunately, it's time to once again disable the service. Uh, some quick information about uh, the vulnerability is this time it's not remote executable. It's, and it's uh, elevation of privilege, so they have to be local on the machine and have some sort of authentication to get anything out of this one. But it's still something that is a risk anyone that is on your network could technically elevate their privileges and cause all kinds of damage. So the fix currently is disable the print spooler, so we're back to that. So to do that, we're going to do in PowerShell. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to grab the service and stop it. Let's just get service and then the name and pipe that into stop service and force just to why, why give it the option to say no. And the next part, we're going to do set service and we're going to set that to disabled. That prevents it from starting back up. So if we come in here and we do a get service again, serviced, my, my typing is still top notch. We're going to do a select all. You can see that the startup type is disabled and it is stopped, so we, we are now safe on this computer. Unfortunately, this gets us safe on this computer, but not your entire environment, so we need to go everywhere and do this. Instead of running location to location, I say use uh, PDQ Deploy. I'm a fan of the products. So we're going to come here, open up Deploy, and just build a new package. And it's just going to be a PowerShell step. And just copy over what we had in the PowerShell there. I guess I should name it if I'm going to be professional. Spooler death. And right, now we got that. You can just take that package. You can deploy that across your entire environment, and that's going to stop and disable it for everybody. And once again, you're safe and secure until they send out a, a partial patch again, and we can find out what other registries you have to fix to get on top of this for the third time. Uh, but hopefully after this, the next patch, we're good to go. Uh, for PTQ.com, I'm Jordan.